Yo, Josh. 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 Hey, what's going on? I got this problem. I got this problem. All nice, right. nice lemon, by the way. I like my lemons. I know you do. Um, so I got this problem, man. I uh, my hamstrings are just. It, I just feel so tight. Like mm. every time I go to touch my toes, the hammies, the glutes, everything just goes nuts. I think it's like it's making my quads ache. It's just everything feels so tight. I don't know. Can you touch your toes? No, I'm like I'm stuck here. I'm oh. I'm totally jammed up, and when I sit, everything just gets. It just feels like it's just getting tighter and tighter. Sometimes I lose blood flow into my feet. I, I don't know what to do. Can you show me where that tightness is at? It, it, it's like it starts right here. here. It gets really bad up here, and then it just goes down like that. It goes down here. Yeah, and and then again, like my feet will go a little bit numb because it's just so yeah. tight. Yeah, yeah, I've seen this before. Uh huh. Um, we should probably just cut them. Just cut what? Cut the hamstrings. Just make a little incision there and those are that's the reason why you're having that pain the hamstrings are so you you're gonna cut like that muscle like the attachment uh yeah if you want to think of it like that i'd say cut the muscle the attachment oh how's that gonna is do i need that to move and stuff i, I mean do you really need it well do you want to still be in pain is the better question. I guess not. It's been giving you a lot of trouble, right? It has been, yeah, both sides, so you think just... Both sides, let's just, we can knock it out in one one procedure, probably. All right. Hmm. Sounds like a plan. All right, so the reason Josh and I were, um, you know, acting for you guys, putting on a little Shakespearean play, um, was to illustrate the um, craziness of something that we just found out about. So. Um, one of our clients, T. Bowman, uh, alerted us to this phenomenon in which people who have been told they have thoracic outlet syndrome, where they have like numb hands and tingling and all that stuff going down into their arms, are told that the solution to the problem is to loosen up the pec minor. So pec minor is a muscle that comes here across your chest. It can narrow, um, narrow the space that the blood vessels have and the nerves have to get down into your hands. Um, and so the Could solution... Be Totally fair. That's fair, right? Totally fair. That probably might be the problem. Yeah, yeah. Totally, totally fair. Poor positioning here. You're narrowing that tunnel down. Mm -hmm. You're compressing on things. That could definitely be an issue. Um, but the crazy, crazy part of this is what we just showed you is that the solution offered is to go in and then cut that muscle out, which is definitely going to have some consequences for how you move, right? Yes. So... Uh, if you don't have one of these uh, little pulley muscle things here, you lose control at least of that motion with the shoulder blades, and then you also have to get all the other muscles to relearn how to coordinate motion. Yeah. Which sounds And possibly scary. do things that the other muscles weren't designed to do. Yeah, yeah. And that's probably not going to be super comfortable. So... Um, you know, a couple of things that you might want to do um, if you're, you're struggling with something like thoracic outlet syndrome or you're having that numbness tingling. I used to have terrible hand and wrist problems. Um, you know, is actually just physically trying to loosen up the muscle. So there are ways to loosen up the muscle besides cutting Getting them. rid of it. Yeah. You want to keep your muscles intact if possible. I'm not a doctor, but I am suggesting as your friend that you not any, pull any muscles out of your body. <laughs> um, you can loosen those muscles, you can do stretching, you can do tissue work, and then if those things here don't work, then what can you do, Josh? Is that it? Then should we just cut it if that doesn't seem to fix all, the whole problem? No. No. Then what can we do? Cut something else? Well. All my stretching and smashing is not working here, right? Yeah. So then we have... Oh, so then we're going to look other places in the body to see what may be affecting that. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So you've got strength issues that can happen back here, so... If the muscles that control the shoulder blade from the posterior side aren't working well, then that's going to affect up here as well. So yeah. those muscles got to be addressed as well. You can't get too laser focused on the poor Just pec minor. Just in there, yeah. Yeah. So uh, definitely something to consider. <laughs> the poor um, pec minor. <laughs> the poor pec minor just really just gets crapped on black all sheep. the time. Wow. People just so mean to the <laughs> pec minor. Anyway, so... 
Um, work on things like that. Um, if you need ideas, uh, check out the shoulder fix at theshoulderfix.com. Um, check out any of our other videos that talk about different shoulder issues, different ways to train your shoulders. Um, and just go slow if you're considering cutting out a muscle. It's probably not the best option. Yeah. Maybe for you it is, but probably not. I'm a big fan of every muscle that I got going in this guy right here, you know? He's, he's got like three of them. <laughs> so I yeah. hope you guys found this video uh, both entertaining and educational. Please remember to subscribe and please remember that pain sucks. Life shun it. If you liked the video, don't forget to like, share, and comment. And don't forget to subscribe.